epic fight. This is what everyone wants to see. One crazed cat taking on a giant crab. up the world this is Lila Steve and I'm here with a uh, video for Skyrim Siblings edition well, it's actually supposed to be a special edition but uh, as you'll probably hear out through the whole entire video a bit of an issue with my S's anyways um, I've got a couple mods on here uh, ordinator for the levels I've got uh, Hunterborn um, Frostfall Campfire um, I'm also going to be playing on legendary there are a couple things I do have to go ahead and get uh, get enabled. Uh, mainly Frostfall because it won't let me actually do that in the uh, in the previous cell that I was in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that enabled, and we're gonna go ahead and get on our way. All right, guys, be back here shortly. And we are back, and I think it's actually time that we can actually get started here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few things. We are definitely going to need to eat as well. As oh man, there is so much shit in here. I swear I didn't do this, um, but I'm also not complaining. Okay, so I think one of the things that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to go down to Polkreath here instead of going to Riverwood like everyone else does, and the main story kind of makes you do that. We're gonna go ahead and go down to Polkreath. Um, this playthrough is, is actually going to be kind of survival, not really a uh, playthrough for uh, you know a whole lot of action and stuff like that. I'll try to be entertaining as much as I possibly can, but one of the things I really want to do is actually see how long I can survive. So one of the first things that we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and go up to uh, Helgen and kind of get that quest started a little bit. Oh, in my inventory. There we go. Now I've got a couple of visual mods on here, but nothing that you'll really be able to um, to see right away. Uh, I'm running a 1060 uh, with a AMD FX 801. Uh, so this is just going to be a notification telling us that we're entering a cold cold region and might want to go ahead and find like a fireplace or something like that, which, lucky us, there's plenty of fire around here. And here's our uh, burnt body. Now, I can read the journal, but I think I'm going to go ahead and hold off on that for now because kind of time is of the essence here. Let's go ahead and kind of warm up a little bit. Just gonna go ahead and take this road all the way down to Fall Creek. Ah, uh, that's not working. All right, time to just hightail it then. no big deal, I'm not going to get a horse right away, so one of the things that um, with the Hunterborn mod is we definitely want to go ahead and do some hunting. And actually before we do that, let me just make sure that this is on Legendary. Yep, it is. Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's take on the fox. 
world's most deadliest pla deadliest prey. Oh fuck. He is on the move. I, think I have a feeling we lost this guy. Yeah, I think this is not gonna be something I can do. And I'm gonna stay away from there for right now. Come on, Foxy. That's my chance. And it's gone. sucks because you could oh that wolf is gonna tear my ass up. Alright, hang on. Can't climb. They've never been known to do, to do this at all. Wait. One wolf is taking damage. What's going on? Oh my! Mud crab's going in. Get a mud crab. Oh, never mind. I thought you were my savior, but you lack the intelligence that we need. The fuck are they fighting though? Reevaluate my plan here. Kinda stuck. Wildlife all around. This may have been a bad idea. I thought one of the one of these things died, but it could be very, very wrong. Oh, hang on, the wolves are taking out the uh, bandits. Awesome. Can't do that. Oh. Mud crab wants to go. Oh, missed. God damn it. Take that. Arrow to the mandibles. Wait, do you have mandibles? I don't know. Epic fight. This is what everyone wants to see. When crazed cat taking on a giant crab. You know what? Oh, shit. Let's do this. Ah! Oh, the crab killed me! The crab killed me. Oh, shit. You know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, not stray from the from the uh, path. Let's just go down the riverwood. Seems like a much easier uh, method here. Maybe less mud crabs. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Oh, and uh, one of the other mods that I've got on here is uh, SMIM or SMIM. I don't know if that's how it's, you know, it's uh, said or anything like that. I, it's uh, the mod that's actually kind of adds a little bit of uh, um, better meshes. I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I think 
might be time to put the uh, good old sneak skills to the test here. Just avoid the wolves. Avoid them. Like the plague. now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. <laughs> Alright, so I think one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and... What? A dragon? In Helgen? That explains uh, what I saw earlier. Happening. You're right. A the Jarl needs... We need to get word to Yarrow. Uh, I may have a, uh, when you get to White Run, just keep going up. Here. Well, let me check my uh, settings here and see if it's going to be. Let's see footsteps, magic voice, ambience, or steps. Uh, and you get to the top of it. Good to see you. All right. Yeah, I think this is actually going to be a mod or a. Um, a New to Riverwood with one of the and by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor. Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. It's my mill. Some folks think it's my town too, but it ain't. The yard in White Run owns the land. Interesting. Okay, hang on. Let's talk to Alvar real quick Hello, to see friend. if um... looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Oh, that's odd. Okay. Oh, don't you just love it when things go exactly as planned? This is being uh, sarcastic there. It doesn't right. look like he has anything that we want, so I'm just going to go ahead and go into General Trader and see if, they're, see if they're, uh, well, voice one box of us has working. to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you bit, overheard, but, but that's the also Riverwood me. Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Huh, yeah, that's, weird. that's really weird. I wonder if this is actually just me, just because I'm using headphones. Some may uh, call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I'm looking for a uh, tent. It's nice and cooking pot. Um, water keg. Okay, I think I'll, I'll come back for this stuff later. Things weren't bad but enough. for right now, <sighs> uh, texture's missing there. Moderately hungry and moderately thirsty. All right, one second. Let's go ahead and eat up here. set up a camp so that way I have a place to kind of uh, sleep and actually you know what hang on let's go ahead and see if we can't find Sven we'll 
go ahead and get the uh, the quest to have Feindel as a companion here. Feindel thinks he can woo okay. Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep hmm. telling you. Yeah, it's weird. I think... I think this is just going to be a reverb issue. Because I've got one of those um, mods that actually adds different sounds. Camilla Valerius um, knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader oh, to speak weird. with him when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Okay, so when you're looking directly at him, it's it's just about silent, but then if you look to the left or you look to the right, you can actually pick up the sound. I don't like that. I I, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and change that here. You may be right. Camilla may see Feindel as a little more than a friend, but why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindel. All right, then. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Camilla here. Maybe you're not from around here. That makes two of us. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He. He. Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Feindal as well? I came here. Let me get my elf friend here. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Lead the way. Alright, perfect. Good to see you. Alright, let's see if uh, this is May actually the gods watch for over your battles, friend. Ah, yeah. Weird. Keep safe. Okay. Alright, I see what, how that is. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up shop. I'm gonna also raid uh, Fandel's house a little bit, and see what he has in there. But um, I'll bring you all back when when I've got a, a place set up. All right, guys. BRBs. All right, and we are back, and I haven't actually uh, got a campfire set up or anything like that just yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take Fandel over here, and we're gonna go ahead and take out these wolves up here. Hopefully we don't die. Matter of fact, I should probably save. And... Should be up over here. See if I can't get a shot off on one of them. Yeah, with the um, Hunterborn mod, now you need animal fat and tree bark in order to make leather, which I kind of like the realism part, and I kind of uh, enable that feature, but it makes it a lot more difficult to actually um, tan leather. Now, I wonder, with Ordinator, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, the arrows are landing up a little bit. Let's just take a look here. No, it looks like it's still dead on. Alright, got him once. Oop. Still need to work on that. Alright. Come on, Fangdell. Do your job. Oh, shit. We're definitely outnumbered. Alright, alright. Going out 
for someone else. No, it's uh, hiding. someone Yay, I get the last shot right in the nose I bet ooh nasty okay so one of the things that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pick up this bad boy oh you know what there we go And then I'm pretty sure that those other wolves over there are still... I think we killed those two as well. So we'll go ahead and see if we can pick up those guys. And I'm going to go ahead and skin them. Try to get some uh, some animal fat for leather and, and uh, crap like that. Alright guys, I'll bring you on back from there. Alright, here's wolf number one. There should be another one around here somewhere. Bandits are desperate men. They have nothing to lose, and they fight like it. Uh, where's the other one at? Oh, is this it? This is in. Awesome. I'm just gonna pick this bad boy up. And Fandel. Granted, rocks are not your thing, but I need you to, to carry this little guy. I'm right behind you. What do you need? And again, without the... Should you carry... This wolf, please? Alright, awesome. Let me know if you need anything. Alright, we're heading back to, uh, to town, and then... I'm gonna go ahead and tear... Tear open uh, one of these wolves here. So I'll be all, uh, bring y'all back when I actually have them all skinned. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig. Okay. You know what? I've never been so drunk that I passed out in a bar on what I can only imagine is a bear pill. But that definitely seems like something I would want to do. Alright, and we are back inside Fandale's house. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and skin one of these wolves. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of show you guys how this is done. Um, if you haven't actually played Hunterborn, or at least the mod for Hunterborn, essentially when you, uh, when you kill an animal, you have the option to pick it up. Or you can have uh, you have the option to go ahead and skin it there and harvest the ingredients at uh, you know the place that you actually killed it. Well, I'm not going to do that just because of the fact that it takes time and when you're out in the wild you lose, uh, uh, well first of all, uh, you have to worry about your temperature, you have to worry about getting wet, you have to worry about uh, food, and you have to worry about water as well as um, you know how fatigued you are and how much you have to sleep. So one of the better things that you can do is you can go ahead and pack up your, uh, your kill, take it to a place that's indoors like uh, Fandel's house here. And we're going to go ahead and skin it. Now one of the first things that we want to do is we're just going to go ahead and do a manual loop. Usually I disable that option, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on just because some of the things that you uh, that you get off of manual looting, you can't actually get from uh, from actually skinning and harvesting the ingredients. And I'm mainly talking about like large, um, large antlers and usually stuff I use for like um, the hearth fire, uh, hearth fire DLC. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and field dress, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how long it takes. So it's 821 right now. We're going to go ahead and field dress it. Alright, we got some blood splatter and it is 933. So it progresses every hour or so. And as you keep doing this, you're going to go ahead and level up. So that way you can go ahead and, and uh, it'll take less and less and less time. So now we've got 933. We've got three different options here. Skin pelt, harvest ingredients, and butcher meat. So we're going to go ahead and skin pelt and see how long that takes us. Alright, we got a poor wolf pelt, and it is now 1054. 
All right, so the next option is we're going to go ahead and harvest some ingredients. And uh, Huntborn actually adds quite a few different ingredients that you can actually use, uh, mainly eyeballs and um, other stuff. But one of the best things is animal bladders, and you can turn those into water skins, which is amazing. All right, so I can't remember, but I think it was like 1050-something. Let's go ahead and see if we uh, can harvest these ingredients. All right, we got a canine tooth, small animal bone, and that's it. Uh, so it is now 12:16. We're now going to go ahead and harvest the meat. All right, looks like I got one raw wolf meat, and I did actually put this down to um, the lowest setting because as I keep doing this, I find that I always have more meat than I can ever need, and selling it's not going to be that useful just because of the fact that it um, only costs like, or I'm sorry, I only get like one gold out of that. Uh, so the the value to weight aspect ratio, I, I, I didn't really find it too appealing, but it did progress this one hour and ten minutes. So now at this point, with our bloody screen here, we're going to go ahead and dispose of the carcass. And that's it. So now, one of the things that uh, I do want to go ahead and, and go over is we are going to go ahead and eat the canine tooth. The first option is always damage health. And let's see here, the other one was a small animal bone. And that's this one here. Alright, so we've got two other wolves that I'm going to go ahead and take apart. I will more than likely be done about... 9 p.m., which is just enough time for me to go ahead and um, pass out again. And I just noticed that Fendel's bed here does not say that it's owned, so I can actually sleep in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll bring you. I uh, bring you. Uh, can't even talk today, or ever. This is a, this is no issue with me, I think. But anyways, I'll, I'll bring you guys back when I um, actually have the carcasses taken care of, and we'll find out what else we're gonna do. All right, guys, beer bees. Alright, so just bringing you guys back for a quick message. So, as I was skinning the second pelt, or the second wolf, one of this, uh, this message popped up saying, You've learned from your experiences skinning the pelts up from animals. You feel as though you are improving. Okay, so it's going to actually allow us to get better pelts, or more pelts. Now, one of the best things about this mod, at least in my opinion, is that you can stick with leather throughout the whole entire game. Now, one of the things that you get after maxing out the skinning perk, or the skinning level, is you can actually go ahead and get, I think it's a flawless pelt, or uh, something like that, or superior pelts, I can't remember what it was, but that would allow you to make superior or flawless leather armor. And that actually, if I remember correctly, is up there with, um, I think it's either elven or, or, um, or glass, I can't remember exactly, or maybe it's steel. But it does provide quite a lot of, of extra benefit. All right, guys, I'll go ahead and bring you on back when I've got more, well, better interesting things to say, which might not ever, yeah. All right, and we are back, and at this point, I've got everything that we need to actually set up shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you guys how this is uh, this done. I haven't actually played this in a long time, so I'm pretty sure it's still the same, but first, if I remember correctly, I'm going to drop this here, and I'm just going to get the machine. There we go. Put that down there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build a campfire. Last but not least, 
we've got water cave. Alright, now this isn't actually done by um, uh, this isn't done by the same people that did Hunterborn or um, or Campfire, so the controls are not as intuitive. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't place this perfectly. And think down, down, down. Ten minutes later. Come on. A little bit more. There, one more. Oh. So used to uh, our controls. Whatever. It'll just be our floating water cake. Why not? Alright, so the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't get some uh, some firework for the campfire. Alright, so for that, I'm gonna go ahead and head down back down to town. We're gonna get about 12 pieces of firewood, and then after that I'll go ahead and bring get back. Alright, and we are back, and at this point, I think I've got everything that we need to actually make the uh, campfire. So, I'm going to go ahead and skip this and kind of tell you guys how to actually do this yourself. So, one of the first things you want, uh, you're you going to want to do is you're going to make at least four kindling. Now, with that, you need to make one wood shaving. That's going to allow you to go ahead and add fuel for that, and to also start the fire. So, now we're just going to go ahead and... Start this bad boy up. And it's gonna. This is also gonna be something that you would actually be able to go ahead and progress. Uh, and well, it's got its own progression system where you can go ahead and level up and other stuff like that. But right now, it's taking a long time. A, I'm in rain, and B, this is my first time building a fire, so it's gonna take forever. But eventually, the fire will actually start. And as I keep doing this, I can go ahead and, and uh, invest perk points into getting the campfire to, uh, to start faster and faster each time, where it only takes one strike of the stone. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get this little uh, teensy wincy fire going here. Alright, so that's done. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do four more filming. And we're gonna make this into a flickering campfire. And then into a crackling campfire. And last but not least, a roaring campfire. Now, the last little bit here, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put in a kindling. And let's see here for food. It's like pretty standard stuff. But, that's it. This is just gonna be our uh, baby steps for today. go there we are and I think that's actually just gonna be it thanks very much for joining me guys uh, I do hope you have a great rest of the day and hopefully you managed to sit through this whole entire episode in which case if you did I have to give you props because this is probably not gonna be as good as other videos all right guys thank you very much and have a good day